All right, what's going on? So I'm gonna do something real quick here. I'm uh, working with Smart Cookie and we're trying to get the SEO set up on my site. So we've gotta put blogs into the site um, to back up our keyword searches. So if I get out of here, I should have set this up quicker. I've got a couple blogs that are already in there. These are posts that um, need to be optimized. So they're not great. So I'm gonna walk you through the process. So of the ideas. So here's our posts that are there, but they're not optimized for the keywords. So I need to go to the keywords. And so Nicole ran through and did a search, did a, an audit on my SEO, found out you know, what I was using, what I wasn't using well, what needed descriptions and H1 tags and all of that. Um, and then we came up with an evaluation thing. Um, we've got the search volume for these words, the cost per click, putting it into Google, how difficult it is to rank for that um, when you're paying for it, how difficult it is when you're just the SEO, who else has it, um, and what it, I guess what the percentage that it relates to what we're doing. So I wanted to find one that we could rank for that was relatively easy. It's got an SEO of 44. Um, headshot photos is probably lower, but I want to go with business because that's really where my site's at on this. Um, paid difficulty isn't very high, and there's decent search volume to it. So headshot photos is going to be the next one because it's the highest search volume. But what she set up is that we've got a blog generator. So I'm going to take this headshot business, and I'm going to plug it into this generator. And I'm going to go, oh, come on. Oh, I better, ah, it's the wrong one. I gotta go back to my own. We're gonna leave this one. Sorry about that. Um, it's this one here. I can edit this one, so headshot, or business headshot. It doesn't really matter what order it goes in, and here are 365 different blog ideas. So what I'm gonna do Let's take these blog ideas and I'm going to um, look for one that we can write a blog about, um, five things you should know about business headshots. We're going to throw that out there. Um, five, way, da, 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 da. five ways to set yourself apart so we can do blogs like that. Um, there's a lot. Um, building a personal brand that'll be with the business headshot, not and so we'll do three. So I'm going to take three these three. Actually, well, let's do these two. We're going to copy these two, and what I'm going to do is go to ChatGPT, and this is just to get a base. I'm not going to actually write the whole blog with ChatGPT, but I am going to get the the bones of it started, so then it's easier for me. So as my marketing Copyright right to blog post focusing on the keyword business headshots. The posts need to be fifteen hundred words each there will be three photos in each post recommend alt uh, alt tag data metadata for the photos to rank for our keyword Provide recommendations for two, three outbound links and two internal links for the post. Here are the topics. Oh, also markup. ChatGPT can do markup. Um, so provide H1 and H2 
markup for each post. And that's important so when we go back in and we line it all up, we know where to put our header, heading title, subheadings, things like that. So here are the two topics. And we'll put them there. Topic one and topic two. All right, now my goal is to get ChatGPT to write the bones of these. I will go back in, doctor it up, put the images with it, and then we'll see how it looks on the ranking. So I'll make another one of these videos and show you what I do on the web page when that's done. But let's go ahead and run this and see how it looks. So there you go. And it's gonna come up with 1500 words. It's telling me what the alt tags are for the photos we wanna use, the H1, the H2. Um, and there's the blog post. And it gives me ideas for links. And then that will generate additional ideas for other blog posts because especially internally, I'm gonna link across to new blog posts that'll support this inside my page. So there is a way to get the basics of solid blog posts and it should be optimized for the keywords for business headshots. And if it, there'll be nuances in there that you have to fix with it and you'll have to go in and, and look at it, but we should be good to go with that. And it's got photo recommendations to put in there. And there we go. How does it read? Introduction. In the digital age, building a personal brand is more important than ever. A business headshot. There's a keyword. It's a key component of your personal brand, offering visual representation of who you are, what you stand for. This blog will guide you through the steps to effectively use your business headshot to build a strong brand. The role of a business headshot. H2. There's your H1. So, and this will give us ways to vary the use of the keywords so we can start to use long tail um, keywords like business headshots in Nashville. We can use business headshots for lawyers, business headshots for entrepreneurs. So we've got the ability to change this up, but at least we've got something started where I don't have writer's block while I try and get this blog post going. So if you find that helpful, um, not that one, I don't want that one. We want to go back to that one. If you found that helpful, leave a comment below. Uh, tell me what worked for you and how you would change it up. Or if you used it, how did it perform? We'd love to hear. All right. Have a good day.